name is Josh Campbell. Um, I'm here to speak about a, a topic. Uh, given my role as, as association with the American Geographical Society, um, I've been associated with OpenStreetMap for um, several years. Previously was at the State Department and helped do imagery to the crowd in the MapGive project, which uh, helped feed out satellite imagery to uh, the humanitarian open mapping community. Um, but today I'm here to talk about what American Geographical Society is doing with teachers and geographic education, and actually to ask for help from this community. Um, AGS is trying, after uh, you know, 170 year uh, since its founding, is we're working to rebrand as a lifelong geographic education foundation, and we're focusing on elementary and secondary um, education in this country, and that's which geography is not taught in the United States anymore. So it's, uh, it's kind of an interesting thing. And so we're here to ask for support to try to team up OpenStreetMap mappers with AP human geography teachers in their local uh, neighborhoods to help support mapathons for human geography classes. So I just want to get that bottom line up front to you, and then I'm going to walk through a little bit about what the ecosystem of, of AGS is doing and how we're, how we're trying to partner. Um, so again, been around for 170 years, 21st Century Learning Society, and the oldest professional geographical society in the United States. Um, our mission is to work across business, government, science, and education and bring folks together around the concepts of geography and to engage the American public um, in spatial thinking. Much of what you might know about, if you know anything about AGS, uh, we've, for the last four years, we've had a conference at Columbia University called Geography 2050. Um, if you're on the East Coast and around next month, I think uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful conference. We change themes every year. This year is, is on education, or I mean, sorry, is on energy. Um, empowering the future. It's a multi-year strategic dialogue on what the, the trends that will affect the planet in 2050. Why I mention that is because in conjunction with, um, with 2050, uh, we have brought in uh, a series of AP human geography teachers that as part of our geography fellows, uh, geography teaching fellows program. Um, but before I get to that, I want to mention one other thing. So when we, we start with the, with the elementary schools, we've teamed up with some folks in DC to work on this card game called GeoPlunge. Um, and so it's super fun. It's an amazing thing to watch these kids play this card game. Uh, I just wanted to mention it because it could be of interest. You can check out their website. Um, but so why human geography and why human geography teachers? And it's basically this chart. Um, AP the Advanced Placement College Board, there is a human geography course that was begun to be taught in 2010. And you look at that growth rate, and what this basically means is in seven years, we now have over a million kids, 15 and 16 year old kids who have self-selected to take geography in the United States, having never had any geography before. And that 18% annual growth rate on average is the fastest, this is the fastest growing AP class in, in the entire stable. It's not the largest by numbers, but it's the fastest growing on a percentage basis. This is lightning in a bottle, and we're trying to capture and make sure that these kids can stay engaged with geography, but through the next couple of years to be able to get to college before they can actually have more formal education. So this is a picture from Geography 2050 of the last cohort of the 50 uh, AP human geography teachers uh, with my former boss, the, the GOTUS, the geographer of the United States. Um, and so we've begun to more formalize this, this initiative. And in conjunction, so what we've done at 2050 with these teachers is have a mapathon on the day before. And our colleagues from Teach OSM have come in and educated folks on, on how to do a mapathon, what it is, get them up to speed with it, and it's grown into this thing, which just started now, like a couple days ago, where we've got 400 kids on 65 teams across 12 schools that are mapping civic public buildings in their county, and it's gonna be a competition. Um, and so this is just getting kicked off. We'll run for the next several weeks. I'm super excited about the engagement there, and again, it's this combination of the AP folks, AGS, and Teach OSM. 
So in order to try to keep these kids engaged, we've also created this thing called the Junior Service Fellow. So if you, once you take the course and you might have a service requirement to graduate high school, um, we want you to be able to come in, join AGS as a Junior Service Fellow, and be able to do your service good works um, in conjunction with mapping projects. We have a micro-credentialing project called Geo Badges, which is a way for those kids to earn things. So your first OSM edits, or you can take QGIS training, um, tons of things that you can get badges for. So that's kind of the stretch of the ecosystem. Um, and then we've relaunched our secondary, we have an academic journal called the Geographical Review, and we have another more kind of, think of it more like the National Geographic is, called Focus on Geography. We've rebranded that all digital, and this is a way to try to deliver content and graphics and maps to teachers, like curriculum that they could wrap the mapathons around. Um, so this is the ask, ultimately. Um, if you would like to be teamed up with a, a teacher in your neighborhood, in your area, AGS would like to help kind of be that convening function. So if you're interested, you can come to uh, bit.ly slash AGS Mapathons, and I'll have the URL. Fill out the form, um, and we're, we're probably, we're looking at the spring semester, right? So we're not gonna do anything over the next couple of months. We're gonna finish the, the county mapping, um, and then try to start doing this engagement early in the, early next year. Um, we'll have another 50 teachers coming up, so that'll put 200 potential teachers to work with. Um, and so if you're interested in, you know, what we're looking for is come in, you could either directly support a mapathon, you could just be, you know, tech support, um, any number of things. And if you have skills that are not necessarily related to hosting mapathons, but you're interested, please let us know. Um, and so I hope that we can, that as AGS, we can help to be part of this ecosystem and help bridge uh, OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap US with this burgeoning set of teachers. So thank you very much. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.